Okay, well, now that all the drilling and tapping and other associated machine work <laughs> is completed, um, it's time to mount the motor. Uh, it's just the old motor. These are where the mounting studs uh, that were used in the original bed. This is the new motor, mo motor mount, which is going to go on there. Well, actually more like that. Short end. So you can type it well. Anyway, destructions say remove these studs. Not too difficult. were bottom tapped. Okay, so motor like that. That goes on there. Line up the holes, grab the little flat head screws. Get at least half thread on there started and tighten them down. No wonder they were so short, those holes were very shallow. Oh! Now I'm wondering if I should have bought some Loctite. Oh! Thread locker. There we go. And next we take one of these 10 millimeter dog point screws. Go ahead and spin them up, back off. Put them, that was the big hole where I thought the uh, change gear pivot was supposed to go. So let's run that out so I can see the end of the dog. Dog, point, screw, set screw. And a little further. other one started. And it don't want to start. Come on, get in there. Catch a thread. Let's see if I can catch a thread from the inside. See if I can catch a thread from the inside. Knock all the paint and stuff off the threads. There we go. Ow. I guess I should have bought a tap. Okay, dog points coming through. It's being semi stiff. I'm hitting lots of paint or whatever they put on there. There we go. That's getting a little easier. Oh, I'm knocking chunks off here. Still sort of stiff. bring you around so you can I don't know if you can really see the dog I'm going to turn this maybe you'll see chunks fall yeah if they did not tap it all the way through then 
I may be uh, cutting <laughs> threads with this set screw. It looks like it's just paint and putty or whatever they put in there. Filler. There comes some big chunks, yeah. And I'm almost through. I'm seeing the edge of thread. And I got threads. Hey. See if I can. Hey, all right. I bet it unscrews a lot easier than it went in. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if I can get that Allen wrench in the hole. Holding a iPhone camera one-handed and Using the other hand to try and fight with an Allen wrench. <laughs> well, at least I got the threads cleaned up. Let's see. Okay. There, now I'm starting to spin it by hand. So all that white crap... Some sort of killer putty or whatever. Okay, back to my little homemade video stand. Yeah, I'm pointing the right direction. Okay, good. Now let's see if we can get it started this way. How about that? I caught a thread the first time. Yeah. Man, that's tight. Or is that just because I'm using my left hand? <laughs> uh, if you haven't watched the video saying why I haven't made videos recently, it's because I had a nice little injury. There's my scar. And I'm still recovering. The doctor limit, limited me to uh, trying to lift 10 pounds right now after my last visit and of course that was a month and a half ago no a month ago so anyway enough about my injuries let's get the motor mount onto the end of the dog let's see if I can slide the belt in place belt on there come on Let's put the belt on and then slide it onto the dog. That works better. And now, run this one in a little further. At least high enough to get it engaging on the mount. something I did not expect. Okay. Let's see. Come on, doggy. Go in the hole. There we go. There, I've got the tip of the dog in the ear, or in the motor mount. Now, Let's see, again, trying to give you a bit of a close-up, I've got a bit of an interference issue. The uh, bolt that holds 
the rear bolt for the headstock seems to be hitting on the motor. I do have that dog engaged and that dog engaged, but I need to adjust it a little bit and something tells me I went out of order again because I was supposed to do something with this. And I think it goes in that little hole. So, <laughs> let me unscrew the dogs, pull the motor back out, and set that one back in place. Take five. <laughs> so, after a short break to review the instructions and pollute my lungs, I discovered I not only skipped one step on mounting the headstock, I was supposed to use this little bolt up there. So let me go ahead and swap that out. I'm going to have several leftover bolts before this is all done. Mostly original bolts. So let's put this one up in there. Come on. Nice and tight. Now, this little screw, run the nut all the way down, it goes in the bottom. Get that started, come on. Hold it up straight, yeah. There we go. Just run it all the way down. Hold the nut back to the head. And this little bitty millimeter there's a hole up in there somewhere right there okay oh that's a little stiff uh, yeah okay good Add that all up to the head Once again, let's set the motor on the dogs, pull wires back through. Look how nicely that fits. out of the dog. Make sure that nut would clear the change gears, and it does. Let's see, it's sort of right there. So, let's get the right Allen wrench first of all, and start adjusting the motor.
instructions say that uh, the belt should run between the two sides of the pulley freely. So let's see what we got there. It's a little too far that way, so let's run this one in some. Oh, the wrong way. Loose that one, so we'll run this one in some more. Uh, it's, now we're running on the other side, so let's go ahead and tighten that one down. Loosen this one. I think I'll do it about a half a turn at a time. Sort of like the similar to the method that Keith Finner and several others have said for aligning a workpiece in a four jaw chuck. Now we're back over on this side, so let's run you back down. Anyway, you tighten one side, loosen up the other. Or loosen the, no, yeah, tighten first, then loosen, then tighten them all. And we're almost there. Go quarter turn. Bring you up. That looks pretty good. Of course, being the original Harbor Freight belt, it may not have been cut straight, but I think that's sort of walking from side to side, so I think that's about where it needs to be. So, pull that spot, tap down the locking nut. Whoa. Now, referring to the instructions again, <laughs> uh, run this head out to put tension on the motor case. And of course, since I ran it all the way up, I got to run it all the way up. Not all the way. Not finger turning yet. Nope, still not. Okay. Still got a little bit of slop. There it's tight on the motor. belt, but it is a cog belt, timing belt type. Let's put a little bit more pressure on there just to keep it still. And it's not moving. So we now have the motor successfully mounted. The wires are run through the hole in front. And I think we're about ready for the next step.